Do you see the love in the people who are struggling for the earth dance? The sooner we work together, the more we we'll have a chance. For the love that sets you free, only love can set us free. Give us strength to live, and give us strength to work. For your education, for your food, for your people, for the nature of your place. Okay, um, uh, it is uh, May the 10th, and I have uh, moved my bahia grass outside, um, and it's uh, in the shade right now because I had it in the sun longer than I should have this morning, and because uh, I'm trying to harden it off, and little by little I'm going to expose it to the sunlight. So it my it had an hour and 15 minutes yesterday, and probably had three three hours this morning. I don't know how much it's had. So, um, anyhow, I wasn't here to begin with, and I, so, thanks. Okay, I'm harvesting some, uh, mycorrhizal fungi, I believe. Uh, I'm getting it from the, the top uh, four inches of the soil, according to David Dowd's instructions on the Rodale site. Uh, anyway, so I'm hoping there's some indigenous mycorrhizal fungi. This area has not been uh, hardly touched for a long time. It's part of the urban wilderness, which is my home or yard. And so I'm trying to get some of this undisturbed soil. Maybe, maybe 20 years hasn't been messed with much. You can see it's got pretty good, pretty good growth on it. So, and so I'm going to be sampling in different areas uh, on, in my yard. All right, the next thing we do uh, is uh, mix the compost and the vermiculite, and uh, it's a five to one, a four to one mixture. So, um, I've got to put four more vermiculites in with that compost and mix it up makes it pretty thin, but uh, that's what's called for. You don't want too much um, phosphorus because it inhibits the growth of the mycorrhizal fungi. Okay, here's some bags from Worm's Way. Uh, we might be able to alter that. They got holes in the bottom, so drainage holes, I guess so we don't uh, drown the plant. So I'm going to begin to fill the plant, uh, the bag, with this vermiculite compost mixture. And then, after that, I'm going to plant some plants in it. You don't need to watch this. You can figure that out. All right, now I've got my the tops of my bag rolled down and then I've got, uh, it says a tenth of a liter, uh, which is a hundred uh, a hundred cubic centimeters. And so this is a third of a cup and a third of a cup is about a twelfth of a quart. A quart is roughly equivalent to, <laughs> to a liter. So I'm going to put a little more than um, that in. A little more than a tw uh, twelfth of a quart. And uh, then I'm going to mix that in. This is our uh, soil from the urban wilderness. And you can look that up on the web if you want. It's kind of interesting, I think. Um, and so uh, that is my indigenous uh, uh, supply, hopefully, of mycorrhizal fungi. But uh, if I'm going to do all this, I'm, I'm not going to gamble. So I'm going to put a little bit of commercial brand in here and uh, kind of a small handful uh, as an inoculant. And um, 
Let's see what that does. I've got another one over here too. And I'm going to do that. It's going to have poppy ghouls uh, galore. Whatever poppy ghouls are. Uh, prop Propagule, I think, is the way it seems to be spelled. Um, someday I'm going to look up where that word came from and, and I don't know why, but I will. I was just curious. Okay. Okay. Next step is to take some of this bahia grass, which I hope I can... Oh, look how easy that came out. Now I'm supposed to put five seedlings in here. And so, my goodness, uh, that's not too many. Uh, I mean, I've got bahia grass coming out to everything. Got it all over the place. So there's two seedlings. Oops. And since I'm kind of late, maybe, in getting this in, I'm going to double up on it a little bit here. Um, I'm putting, right now I've got five in there. And I'm going to put, uh, I think I'm going to get some healthier ones. I hope somebody want some of these close enough to get them I could go in the bahia grass seedling business here if I had a yen a yen too I make a lot of yen ha 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 I'm sorry I got to talk to myself or get real peaceful and then I wouldn't say anything Okay, well, I have doctored it up, and I've got, I don't know, seven, eight in there, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Okay, that's that step. So here are Bahia grass uh, plants, uh, all six, seven, eight, nine uh, plants to, per bag. And uh, I'm going to have to get uh, some, uh, I've got some weed barrier and set them down on it somewhere and make them look kind of nice. And you put a little straw around them because I'm going to have people coming in and asking what they're about and be nice if they look nice. So that's pretty much it. We'll, we'll check back in, uh, you know, after the plants are growing some and uh, so people can see what, what they look like.